Assalamu alaikum dear learners I welcome you to my online class hope all of you are well I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah I hope you are keeping uh, you are uh, staying at home and safe and you are not wasting your time whether you are keeping your, keeping yourself busy with different creative activities you are helping your parents and Today, this class is conducted for the students of class 11 and 12. Our today's topic is modifier. So first of all, you have to know what is modifier. Modifier, you know, when a word, a phrase or a clause sits before or after another word and gives extra information of that word this is called modifier. Now let us see some examples. Rana is a wise boy. Rana walks very very slowly. I found a boy sleeping. So, so see the examples. Just observe the examples. Here, Rana is a wise boy. You see, boy is a noun. Okay? Boy is a noun. And I have used a word wise. So, what kind of boy Rana is? You see, he is a wise boy. So this is a modifier. Okay. Now come to the second sentence. Rana walks very slowly. Rana walks very slowly. See, slowly is a, is a word. And I have used another word like very. So how Rana walks? Very slowly. So this is another, this is also, this is also called modifier. Then, um, uh, then look at another example. I found a boy sleeping. You know, boy is a noun, and uh, sleeping is, is you know, uh, sleeping is a modifier because uh, what was the condition of the boy? The boy was sleeping. So, so this is these words are used before the noun. So this is called pre modifier, and this word is used after the noun. So this is called post modifier. So we come to know that there are two types of modifier. One is pre modifier and the another is post modifier. So now let us see different types of modifier. Different types of modifier. You see, uh, first of all, I mention I must mention adjectives. Adjectives it. It is, uh, you know, it is vast uses as a modifier. Like I can say, uh, Ronnie is a tall boy or smart boy or you know, short boy. So you see, I've used short, tall, you know, uh, smart, like these words. So these words, uh, these words are adjectives, and basically, basically, uh, simple adjectives always used as a pre modifier. Okay. Now let us see another thing like participle, participles. You know, participles is one kind of adjective. And participle basically when uh, you know you uh, when verb uh, functions as an uh, adjective, this is basically known as participles. And like uh, you know, participles can be used as a pre modifier and post modifier. Now I'm going to give you examples. Like I saw a train running. I saw a running train. Now see, participles are two types. 
present participle and past participle. This is an example of present participle. You know, participles are two types, present participle and past participle. Participles like, you know, I saw a train running. You see, train is a noun. And the word, you know, running, it, is, it gives extra information about the train, okay? So, what, what was the train, you know, doing? It was just running. So, this is, this is an example of post modifier because it is used after the noun. And the next sentence, you see, I saw a running train. So, here running is used before the noun. So, this is called pre-modifier, okay? So, I have shown you, you know, present participles, how present participles can be used as a pre-modifier and post-modifier. Now, let us see uh, the examples of past participle. Okay, let us see. Uh, now I'm going to give you the, the examples of past participles. So how past participles can be used as a pre-modifier and post-modifier. Okay. I found a let I found a written letter. See, I found a written letter. So this word written, you know what kind of letter it is written. So this this is a pre-modifier and it is in the, it is the past participle form of a bar. Okay. So this is pre pre-modifier. And here, you know, uh, the book is a noun. You know, book is a noun. Okay. So the book. The book published in 1975 was famous. So, which book was famous? The book published in 1975. So, this this is uh, you know a phrase which gives extra information about the you know uh, the noun. So, this is a post modifier. Okay. So, uh, I have shown you how past participle can be used as a pre modifier. And post modifier. Uh, sometimes uh, you know you don't you can't you can use you know participles. You know you, you must remember that participle is different from zerant. Zerant functions as a noun and participle always functions as an adjective. Okay, as an adjective. Okay. Now let us see another kind of modifier like determiners. Determiners, you know, determiners includes one article, article, two, one, fires, and third, demonstrate. So, article we know uh, and B, okay, quantifiers are like, you know, uh, little, little. Much, few, many, some, all, okay, and numbers, numbers like 
one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. And demonstratives are like these, that, these, those. And there are various types of demonstratives, okay? Now let us see. Rakib is a boy or student. You see, uh, you know, here, you know, I have used an article before the noun. Before the noun, I have used an article like a. Uh, so this is, this acts as a, you know, pre-modifier, okay? And it, it, uh, it is in, included in the, you know, in the list of determiners. And it's, uh, you know, its specific name is article, okay? Then you see quantifiers. I'm going to give you some examples of quantifiers. Rana drinks much milk or I can use little. There is much water in the river. So see, you know, the quantifiers, you know, it, uh, quantifiers are basically used for measurement, okay? Rana drinks little milk, you know, how much milk? Little, okay? So this is used as a quantifier, okay? So uh, which kind of quantifier you, uh, you will use? It depends on the sentence, okay? It depends on the context, okay? So uh, you can't use uh, whimsical, you can't use, you know, um, as you wish, you have to, you know, you have to maintain the context, okay? So Rana drinks milk, little milk, much milk, like this, okay? There is much water in the river. So here you can use little water in the river, much water in the river. If it is in the, it is uh, in the rainy season, then you must use much. Or it is in the dry season, then you can use little, okay? So you have to be very careful using the quantifiers, okay? So, and you should remember that these little and much basically used for uncountable nouns, okay? Little and much basically used for uncountable noun. And few many basically used for countable noun, okay? Now, let us give an example. There are few students in the class, okay? So say, uh, there are few students in the class. How many students? Few students. There are some students in the class. There are uh, many students in the class, okay? So you can use uh, according to the context, okay? Uh, how, what, the, what does the passage want, okay? You should remember this. So I have shown you how quantifiers are used as a modifier, as a pre-modifier. Must remember uh, article, quantifier, and demonstratives. These all are used as a pre-modifier. Now let us uh, see uh, some in other examples. Like you know, I want two, you know, books. So this work two. This is an example of quantifier. This is a this is a number, okay? Uh, many books, two books. Uh, many books, three books, four books, five books. Like you can use many books, some books, few books. So it depends on the passage, okay? Now let us see demonstratives. Like this book is written by a uh, by run okay so you see this book so book is a noun and this is used before this noun and uh, is acts as a it acts as an adjective and demonstrative so uh, this is a example of this is an example of pre modifier okay this is basically used for singular you know for the singular thing and these books 
and B is basically used for the plural things. Okay, so uh, I have given you, uh, even I've shown you uh, how uh, determ determiners can be used as a, a pre modifier. Now, let us see. Uh, how possess possessive how possessive used as a pre modifier okay uh, this is my book okay so you see possessive my you know this word is used before this noun okay so this is an example of possessive okay and it acts as a uh, it acts as a pre modifier okay now let us see uh, in other types of modifier like compound modifier you have to know compound basically means what you know compound means when two or more words uh, together form our meaning or uh, together two or more words form a word this is called compound word okay like first class i want first class seat first class these two words becomes a word okay now uh, I, I i will show you adverb 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 used as a pre modifier okay shamin works very Shamin works slowly. Shamin works very slowly. Now let us see here. Shamin works slowly. You see, uh, here I have used I have used this slowly after the bar. Okay. It acts as a post modifier here. Okay. If I say the above passage is easy. So here you see passage is a noun and I have used the word above. This, this used as a pre modifier. This adverb uses a pre modifier and this adverb used as a post modifier. Okay. And you should Keep in mind that sometimes uh, in every uh, passage uh, there is uh, you know mention of intensifier. Okay, very often you were asked to use intensifier. There are some words, uh, some intensifier like you know very, too, so like these are basically enough. These are basically used as an as intensifiers. Okay. So when you are asked to use intensifier, you can use very, or you can use to, or you can use so, or enough. Enough basically used up as a post modifier. Enough basically used as a post modifier. And these three words are basically used as a, as pre modifier, okay? So Rana, Charmin works very slowly. So very is a pre modifier and it's also uh, named as a, uh, intensifier okay and uh, I am give, I'm going to give you another example like Rana is quick to work so what intensifier will you use here when you are asked to use an intensifier here uh, if you use very it's not suitable or when you use so it's also not suitable but if you use too weak so it is very suitable okay now let us see post modifier a positive twenty minutes
uh, let us see what is a positive you know a positive basically you know uh, it it says after it says after the noun okay and uh, it gives extra information of you know that very noun okay so rana came here this is the main sentence this is the main sentence rana came here but who is rana a meritorious student so this you know a group of words or words it gives it gives extra information about rana okay so this is called a position and it is used after the subject okay and i met rana who is rana a meritorious student so here rana is used as an object and i have given this apposition i have used this apposition after the object okay so uh, uh, i hope that uh, this class uh, will help you to understand modifier very easily and in the next class i will discuss few more modifiers Okay, until then, stay well and safe. Thank you very much.